Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Yegi here. Today, we're gonna go over how to do hybrid full set of eyelash extensions. But what's special about this video, because I know I've done hybrid video before, is we're gonna mix the C and the D curl together. So for the mink, I'm gonna use, actually, the Yegi mink lashes in the mix tray in D curl in 0.15. And it's a mixture from 9 to 15 where we're going to use sizes 10, 11, 12, and 13. And for the mega volume, we're going to use a 0.05 mixed tray, but in the C plus curl. So this is going to give it a different cool effect with mixing the C and the D curl to create more dimension and to give it a little bit more of a wispy look. I'll also use the two millimeter premium glue. So that's a little size, um, that's a smaller size glue. And I like using that one sometimes, especially if I'm on the road and doing mobile clients because it's small and it stays fresher longer since it may sit in my car um, and all that stuff. And then we're gonna use the Yegi tweezers, the Y2 and Y5. Um, and also, I'll, oh, and usually I use a tissue on top of the client's forehead to apply, but this one I'm going to demonstrate using a silicone holder, and you'll see it in pink and then in clear, so you can see the difference and see which one you like better, but um, personally, I don't love the silicone holder, or at least these ones so far, because um, they're a little bit too sticky, I feel like, and they're harder to clean. But um, if you don't like the tissue on the forehead, this is an alternative option and then you can find your way of how you want to clean them. But the best way to clean them, I want to say, is with soap and water and then they actually keep their stickiness even though if you do that afterwards. Let's get into the application now. So we're going to do a hybrid full set. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use the foam cleanser and we're going to go ahead and start cleansing the client's eyes before we start application. This totally helps our work to last longer because even if there is a little bit of makeup residue or natural body oils, it gets in the way of the glue and then it doesn't last as long. So we want to make sure we cleanse and you can see this is a special brush for eyelash extensions. It comes with the cleanser um, and it is super soft. Okay, so but see how we're cleaning with the towel really well afterwards. So that's a moist towel to clean off all the eyelash cleanser before before we start okay we notice if you just kind of leave it on there and just dry it and not fully cleanse it after um, it, the glue doesn't last as long so make sure after you cleanse it you wipe everything with the moist towel and then you're ready to prime the eyes so now we'll use um, micro brushes and our primer to prime the eyes and again this is for the glue to work at its best and for it to last the longest so you want to make sure you do one micro brush from below and one micro brush from above and you're going to go ahead and cleanse and i mean prime every single one of her lashes and at this point they're kind of wet or moist so make sure you do dry it after this before you start the full application if they do look a little wet. Next thing we're going to do is use the lint free under eye patches and tape down her bottom lashes. This is going to help us protect them from sticking to the top. But for this example, you see how we're putting the under eye patch right under the bottom lashes. So we don't care to use the under eye patch to hold down the bottom lashes. We're going to use tape for that. But this we're applying to make sure that afterwards when we're ready to remove the tape, it'll be way easier to remove compared to um, not having an under eye patch because the tape can get really, really sticky sometimes. But one thing is really, really important is make sure that since the natural lashes are sandwiched between the under eye patch and the tape, make sure you remove the tape first and then the under eye patch. Don't just remove the whole thing together because like that you'll definitely wax her <laughs> bottom lashes and we definitely don't want that <laughs> at all. 
You want to add lashes, not take them off. Okay, so that's very important. And also we're using the tape on top of the patch because it holds down the bottom lashes better. Sometimes the patch can move, get in the eye, get uncomfortable. So that's why we do it this way. Now, these are the lashes I was talking about, the mixed tray for the mink and D curl, and then C curl for the mega volume lashes. That's what they look like. And that's the glue I was talking about, and those are the tweezers, and that pink thing on her forehead, that's the silicone pad to hold the lashes. So that's also what I was talking about. But here we go, let's get to lashing. So the eyelashes are placed from shortest to longest on the silicone pad just to help us guide and mentally be easy for us to know where to place what. Now you can write down on the patch of kind of like mapping of where you're going to put which size, but this one we're just going to go ahead and put it in order from short to long so we didn't really need to write it. It's, I mean, after a lot of practice, you really don't need to write it down. It just becomes form of habit and you can kind of visually see it instead of um, worrying about what goes where. It really does become second nature to you. But in the beginning, definitely write it on the patch so you know which size you're putting where. So the way we do the hybrid eyelashes, first we go in there and we put all of the classic lashes, okay? So we're going throughout the eye, as you can see, jumping around, but also putting them from shortest to longest around the eye and applying the classic lashes. So these are the mink um, lashes from Yegi and they are vegan, they're faux mink, um, and you're just putting one eyelash extension on top of the one natural lash and that's what makes it a classic or that's the part we start with is the classic and then for a hybrid, we're gonna go after we're done with the classic, add some volumes in there. So if you didn't know what hybrid means, that's basically what it means. Um, but you see, we're just literally making sure we isolate really, really, really well. I wanna make sure I'm only holding one natural eyelash in between those curved tweezers. Anytime you have more than one natural eyelash in between those curved tweezers, do not, do not, do not apply any lashes on there because that's how we can damage the natural lash we don't want to stick anything together because then as they grow out they're going to be pulling each other out because not all eyelashes grow at the same rate so very 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 important all right and another rule of thumb never put an eyelash more than double the thickness on the client's natural lash so in this one you can see the extensions we're selecting are almost even about the same thickness as our natural lash so that's good we're safe we can even probably put a little bit thicker classic lash maybe a 0.18 and she'll still be fine because that won't be too too thick for her okay if you're ever in doubt just grab one single classic eyelash and measure it against their natural lash and see how they visually compare that's the best advice i can give you compared to trying to memorize numbers like 0 0.15 0 0.10 or always using the same size So the inner corners is a lot harder to do and the outer corners for most people. So if you're struggling with that, it's okay. It's normal in the beginning, but the be the more you practice, the better you get and the easier that part gets. But one recommendation I have for you is you can see the head's a little bit tilted to the left and it makes it easier for me to work on that corner. Even that little shift to the head can make your life a lot easier okay and in other videos i show how to tape them up or tape them separately so check out the, uh, my other videos you'll see a few other techniques for taping the corners um but i know you guys have also been re requesting a video just for the corners and i promise i'll get there <laughs>
Another tip for you is anytime you're grabbing the eyelash from the strip, you want to grab it from as high as possible. So almost from the tip that you can see where I'm grabbing it because that gives you more room to work with the lash and to dip it in the glue. Because anytime you dip it in the glue, you don't want to touch the tweezers. You want to make sure they don't touch the tweezers so then it doesn't get stuck on the tweezers. So holding it from as high as you can from that single lash, it'll give you more room to dip it in the glue. And when you're dipping it in the glue, you don't want to visibly see too much of the glue on that single eyelash. All you want to do is dip it in there so it's fully soaked, but then you wipe the excess like that on the glue ring rim. So look at it again. Now we're about done with applying some of the classic eyelashes and you can see they're starting to look fuller already. But we want to give it a little bit more of an effect of being fuller. So we're going to go and now add in the volume lashes and that's what's going to make them hybrid. And you can see now the holder is clear so th that's what, I mean it's just a color difference but just so you can see it. And there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just go in between all the lashes we placed that were classic and fill in all of the volume ones with these mega volume lashes. And these volume lashes, they're super, super, super easy to fan out. And we have a bunch of videos that show how they work. Honestly, they're amazing. They save you so, so much time. So if you're interested in that, if you're having trouble making handmade fans, these are going to be your best friend because half the time when you just grab it off the strip, it's already found out for you. You don't even have to waste time fanning out. What I'm doing here is separating any little baby eyelash that was stuck to that extension. We don't want any of the eyelashes to be sticking together and if it does, because sometimes the baby ones do, you want to go in there and take your time to separate them um, and not let them stay like that so they don't grow out and damage each other.
any point the tape feels uncomfortable or you feel like it's kind of in your way, take your time to kind of adjust it because if it's not where it should be and you're not happy with it or the client's uncomfortable, it's going to make the whole process way worse. So it's okay to take a second or after 20, 30 minutes, ask the client, hey, are you so comfortable? And then adjust if needed. Okay, now watch closely when I'm going to pick up that mega volume eyelash. Look how easy it is to fan it out. I just put it aside and I play with it a little bit by pressing it down and it's already fanned out into a nice fan. I hope you can see that in the video. If not, there are videos for mega volume full sets or fills. We do zoom in and show you all the details, so make sure you check those out on my channel. Literally, these sell out all the time because people love them so much. So make sure you buy them in advance if you do want them. Now pay attention to her left eye and her right eye. We haven't really done anything to her left eye and we keep adding some in her right eye. And you can see the length is about the same. We're not trying to achieve a crazy long look for this client. We're trying to create more of a fullness for her. So keep in mind for extensions, if somebody wants more of a natural look, as long as you stick to their natural length and you're not going too much longer than their natural length they're still going to see a really nice difference if they don't then next time you can recommend and say hey we can do even longer but it is safer to start off short and make them full client will love it like that even if it's their very first time getting it but sometimes if it's their first time getting it and they're not used to it you put a little bit too long then that's when they're gonna hate it or feel like they're not themselves Okay, so that's a little tip for you.
Now we're gonna make sure we dry all the eyelashes as good as we can to make sure they fully, fully dry so nothing gets stuck together later on. And then it takes about two hours for them to be full, finally set. That's the final result. How beautiful is that? Please subscribe and like and share. It helps me out so much and I appreciate it so much. Give me your feedback. Let me know what I could do better. I really, really appreciate any help you guys can give me. And also you'll maybe come across some vlogging videos within these lash videos. I just want to let you know my main goal is to be a motivational speaker. So all of this is to help me get there on my journey. So please support me. I really would appreciate that. And if you need help with any motivation, um, I'm here for you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.